tonight's Monday, um, the 23rd. I have a doctor's appointment in a little bit. I, what did I read? Um, nothing. It says Monday. <laughs> nothing started. Uh, today I'm going to be reading Street Magic and some other stuff. What else? I don't, time isn't real. Not Reddit. Reddit's not what I'm looking for. Um, the reason I have Reddit open is because my, guys don't buy razor products and I don't mean that to be a dick, but like I got them for the aesthetic, which fair, but like regularly my razor Kayo webcam just stops focusing and then I have to like unplug it and plug it back in or unplug it and restart my computer and then plug it back in because of the USB cache and um it's just like annoying <laughs> so there's that today I'm going to be reading um Street Magic by Tamora Pierce and um House of Glass Hearts which is an arc I will not be finishing that today obviously and From the Corner of His Eye which is that Dean Coons book that I had like offhand talked about uh reading so, and I think another, yeah, Cold Fire by Tamora Tamir Pierce. Um, I'm almost done with the Tamora Pierce rereads. It's taken me the full month to finish all of them. So, you know, that's cool. And by that, I mean like legitimately that's cool because I was very far ahead of my rereads. And so I, when I was planning my um, rereads for next month, I was like, oh, I don't want to start those in the middle of August. So, yeah, um, I... I'm gonna go though so that I can listen to Street Magic a little bit before I go to the doctor. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll check back in later. I feel like I've inherently filmed from this angle like a couple of times now and it's just a weird angle and like I'm well aware that it's a weird angle so let's uh let's get that out of the way. Um hi it's Thursday night. I uh didn't update yesterday because it was a really bad day <laughs> like really bad I cried in the CVS parking lot uh, while teenagers watched me. So that's cool and a good time. I finally have like one spoon. A bunch of things that were supposed to happen this week got canceled. So that's good. Um, basically, it was supposed to be my cousin's wedding this weekend, but it is getting rescheduled because COVID. And honestly, I want her to have the best wedding ever. And this was just like not working out well for her. So I'm not going to get into it because it's not my business to talk about. So. And then, what else? Something else was going to happen and I was just like, I don't, oh, I was just going to have to like drive um, to a couple of different cities over the weekend and now I just have to go see my, not have to, now I'm just going to go see my partner. So, hooray, that's good. What did I read so far? Um, I have almost completely finished the Tamora Pierce stuff. I just have one more to go and I'm done. I think one more, maybe two more. And then I finished The Ones We're Meant to Find, which I've already read. I read it as an arc before I moved out, but um, it came out a month or two ago, and so I read that. And then I read A Lesson in Vengeance yesterday. Really, really good. I really enjoyed that a lot. And, um, like, a lot. A Lesson in Vengeance was very fucked up but in a way that I really enjoy, and it was sapphic. So, like, it was really well done, and I was really nervous about it, because, like, lately, my most anticipated releases have sucked. So, um, I'm really glad that this one didn't. Yeah, it was oh, incredible. Art basically made me eat my entire TBR to read it, <laughs> but that's fine. It was still good. Um, I, oh, I read From the Corner of His Eye. Was that... Monday? It was Monday. Did I talk about that? No, because I was like starting it on Monday before my doctor's appointment. First off, Dean Coon says so many words without saying anything at all, but the plot was really good, which sucks because it means that like I want to read his other books, but he says so many words without saying anything. That audiobook was 22 hours long and we didn't get to like bulk of the plot until 10 hours in. Like, yeah, I know I listen on three times speed, but that's still like three and a half hours of my time wasting. <laughs> Um, so that was a lot. I got rejected for a job offer. Like, I applied for a job and I got a rejection letter. That hurt my feelings. It's fine. And what else happened? I'm getting up earlier in the morning so that I can do more, like, self-care things. What else did I read? I know I read other stuff, but my brain is just, like, drawing a blank because it's, like, it's time to get ready for bed. I'm, uh, oh, I started She Who Became the Sun. She who bored me into throwing myself into the sun. I don't know. It started off really good first like 
20%, 25% was really good, and then, like, I don't know what happens. It gets really slow, and I, like, don't know who any of the characters are. Like, all of a sudden, we're referring to people by name, and I'm just like, who are these people? Why, why do I care about them? What the fuck is happening? And so, like, because it talks about the time passing in the um, beginnings of the chapters, and so I, like, go back and see, and, like, oh, maybe, like, a bunch of time has passed. No, it's been, like, one year, and then all of a sudden we're, like, talking about all these people I don't know, and, like, we went from a monastery to somewhere else, and I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. And the worst is that, like, if this was an audiobook and I didn't know what was happening, uh, that would make sense because maybe I just, like, stopped listening at some point and need to rewind. That happens occasionally, and I just rewind. I'm reading this with my eyes. I shouldn't have to keep going back <laughs> and, like, am I missing something? And then being like, no, nope, not missing something. It just doesn't make any sense. So, like, not only is it slow as fuck, I have no idea what's going on. So, like, that's doubly worse. I'm not invested at all anymore. I'm just like, I don't know who these people are, and I don't care. And the shitty thing is, like, I really want to stick it out, but the way that they also talk about the eunuch, eunuch in the first 25%, everyone's like, oh my gosh, the, like, gender, whatever, it better get better. Because right now it's fetish fetishization, and I'm not into it as a non-binary person. Like, I don't like it. So, um, it better get better, because the way that bitch talks about it in the very first 25%, that's whack as fuck. Like, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but that shit's weird. I don't like it. It's weird. So I'm hoping that it gets better. Yeah. Nope. Not into it. I know. We're gonna go to bed in a minute. I am gonna try and finish it tomorrow. I do have the audiobook, so I might switch over to the audio, see if that's any better. Like, at least I can just, like, half listen to the boring parts. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't do that with books generally, but I'm not having a good time, so... I do have Friday off, so it's Wednesday. I have Friday off, um, but I will be at my partner's, so you guys probably won't. I probably won't film, um, unless I, like, crochet or anything. Um, I got Bella to start Nine Perfect Strangers this show. I'm gonna listen to the audiobook. Like, it's been highly recommended to me, and I have not. I was just like, eh, I'll get to it when I get to it. It just, the cover <laughs> didn't make it seem very interesting to me. Um, they really fucked themselves with that cover, and, um... So I, like, haven't read it, and, uh, I, when I saw it was a show on Hulu, I was like, cool, now I don't have to read it. But now, like, while it is a show, it's one of those, like, limited release situations where, like, they're only putting out one episode a week. What do they think they are? Some kind of, like, high-end movie producer, TV produce production company? Stupid. Yeah, I hate limited, <laughs> I hate limited releases, um, from things like Hulu because, like, I don't pay all for me to have to wait for episodes. What have you guys read this week? Nobody ever tells me what they've read this week. It's just me talking about me. I know that's what a vlog is. I'm just kidding. I am hopefully going to go to Michael's and Target soon for Halloween stuff. Um, I also need to buy some new clothes for my engagement shoot. Um, I don't really talk about the fact that I'm getting married, but I'm getting married, so um, that would be what the this um, on my finger is. Is that. It's <laughs> so... Um, I need to do those things, so I might have some footage of that next week. We'll see. Um, I do want to also, like, probably film my rearranging of my room. When did I do that? Was that even over the weekend? Was that last week? It was. It was definitely last week. Time is not real. Um, but I will be filming that and showing you guys that. I, I definitely just have the filler footage in, in last week's vlog, I think. So my bad but um then you guys can also see my new desk so i really just need to like clean and get that stuff filmed so I'll hopefully do that tomorrow i need to make myself a note to do that i'm also gonna like fuck around with making a like home base dashboard for on notion because i'm using notion like a lot now um because of the timeline feature and i like it a lot and i want to continue to use it but i also want like a home screen because having to switch around to a bunch of different screens makes me forget about other ones so um, we'll see. I did talk about my closet notion board on TikTok. I think I've talked about it in a video recently too, but I don't remember. And I added to that a like weekly outfit plan. So it's like loosely based. Like I don't have to follow it if I don't want to, but I can if I want to, which is helpful. So I'm suddenly really out of breath. So I'm going to go. It's very hot <laughs> in Texas right now, um, which means our house is very hot, um, especially on the second floor. But I am figuring out how to make it less hot 
um, but it's not, I don't have any kind of temperature control in my closet. There's no like fan or anything. So, um, it's very warm here. So I'm going to go. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will check back in tomorrow, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready for fall. <laughs> Tired of the heat. All right. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Start your computations. I think we're getting into a weird area here. Maybe. Hello. I couldn't figure out why my camera like wouldn't go all the way up, and it turns out that I somehow managed to get the camera strap all like wrapped up on the tripod that it sits on like my camera is always on this like small tripod when i'm not filming or like when i'm not filming like sit down videos although lately when i'm filming sit down videos i just stick it on top of my art cart and don't fuck around with tripods because it's a lot of work um yeah ignore my hair i just styled it and hopefully editing me puts unless i like cut myself off and then i probably won't put it we can do e-curl eyebrows or slightly less e-curl eyebrows that is the question isn't it folks but yeah i don't know what i was trying to say oh all i've been doing today is fucking with a notion board and um reading gods and monsters which is the next blood and honey book it's fine it's all right i'm kind of annoyed that it was like why was this three books this could have been condensed and it wasn't and i'm just like thanks for wasting my time a little bit you know like, I'm gonna buy the third one because I'm a completionist and, like, I want all three in my library. But I'm not gonna be happy about it, you know? Right? Um, I know I said this last week, or I think I said this last week, but honestly, doing my... taking a shower on my lunch break, best thing I've ever done. Because, like, I don't always know what to do with my lunch break, especially because I'm playing Just Dance a lot less. Um, because, trigger warning for weight loss, I am trying to lose less weight trying to stop losing weight entirely which is like a very new concept for my brain considering how long i had an eating disorder um but i don't want to lose any more weight i like the way that i look right now and i'm just trying to maintain and it's really hard um when your meds make it make you have no appetite and then on top of it it makes you not emotionally eat or anything so it's just like but i know i'm not eating enough because um i'm bruising really easily because a block of iron. So I'm going to start taking iron supplements and uh, eating eggs again. <laughs> Which I know that sounds whack, like eating eggs, but eggs are like something that I always consider a safe food and I'm always like good with eating. And so, yeah. What am I doing with my makeup today? I don't, couldn't tell you. No idea, honestly. I kind of wish I had not used this orange and used the other orange. But anyway, I don't exercise during lunch so much anymore. Sometimes I do ballet. Um, and it's just because like, I'm trying to find this healthy balance of like working out and also eating enough and that's really hard because nobody really teaches you it and yeah i have a nutrition background so luckily i like know more than most people but it's still really hard nobody really tells you what you should be doing so like i know i'm not going to start counting the other thing is that like i don't want to start counting calories because i know that will like cause me to be obsessive and so it's like figuring out how to make sure i'm getting enough macronutrients without counting calories but my brain automatically knows that conversion of macros to caloric intake. And so like, <laughs> I do it automatically whether I want to or not. Um, so that's fun and annoying. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? 
This is a lot of orange. I really didn't mean to do this. Luckily, I'm wearing a yellow dress, so like it'll be a fun time all together. Um, but is my partner going to say that I look like an e-girl today? Yes, he is. I love him. And he's right. Um, no, I'm going to clean that up after I do a bunch of other stuff to it. I'm going to use this brush and just, I like to use this brush almost like an eraser. It's like a blending brush, but better. Because it's just buffing. I also used it to apply the makeup tutorials with the mouse. Just kidding. Fuck that. I used to think that I could be a beauty influencer, and for a little while I actually like did get like skincare and stuff from beauty companies, which was weird. That was a really weird time because like it was like holistic. Um holistic beauty. Which is not like I don't have the spoons to be that person anymore. Did I then? Not really. No, I wanna add glitter first before I do my eyeliner. I know better than that. Um this palette is apparently from a TikToker, but I think she's on straight talk. I don't know who the fuck this is. Avani Greg. I think I've talked about this multiple times, so I have no idea who this is. And, like I looked it up and they were like, she's a TikToker with a billion followers. And I was like, I've literally never heard of her. It's kind of like the um one girl who has a sister. I always get them mixed up, but they're like they have a show on Hulu, I think. And like, even though I'm somebody who watches trash TV, I still have no idea who they are. I've never seen their show, nor do I think I'm going to watch their show ever. So like, that's not me trying to be a bitch. It's just being like, it looks extremely uninteresting. It's kind of like the K Kylie Jenner show. Didn't watch that one either. I watched the Kardashians intermittently, but at one point I just watched it to sleep because like, I hear that Valley Girl accent and my brain just stops functioning. So and I'm again, not trying to be a bitch. My brain just shuts down. It's just like, oh, you know what? I'm not really interested in this. That sounds horrible. I, I recognize that. I do, but what are you going to do? My partner's going to call me an eat girl. We're not even going out to eat. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I'm just going to wipe it all off later. I'm bringing all my makeup, though, for once. I don't normally bring all my makeup. I normally just bring, like, my um, blush palette and then use that for literally everything. Um, but we're going to go out to eat tomorrow instead of my normal. Well, we always go out to eat on Fridays when we go. When I go. Um... Like I said, long date night, but it's normally just like the first day that I'm there we go. Um, but I have Friday off, so I'm going there tonight, but I don't get paid until Friday, so I know none of you care. I'm well aware. I'm mostly just saying this to like, I like to talk to myself. That's probably why I vlog. Oh, I fucked that up and I'm gonna have to blend it out and I hate it. Honestly, my family bullied me for the way that I did my makeup for such a long time, but like getting to it. I've talked about this off and on, I think on the lot, on internet a lot lately, but like getting to do my makeup how I wanted to as a scene kid, like judgment free. Of course, like my partner jokes and calls me an e-girl, but that's, he's playing. Um, getting to do that without any of my religious family saying shit about it is really nice. This is straight up already a 10 minute clip. I hate myself, why do I talk so much? Be right back, I have to like clock back in, but stay at lunch, you know? You know people don't tell you how long it takes to draw on your eyebrows. That's what people don't tell you. After Gods and Monsters, I'm going to read Shattered Glass by Tamora Pierce. It's the next one in the series. Um, it's the last one that I have. There are like three or four more books. I'm not going to read them though. Um, I've already read so many. And it's a lot like the Wizards book where it's definitely something that came out before or after I was no longer reading um, from Tamora Pierce. So like it doesn't apply. It's like a reread, you know, because I've already read it. So there's that. Have y'all seen some of the like lifestyle blogger vloggers? People like Haley Fam trying to like get into the book community, like booktube. It's been interesting. Haley Fam bought a mansion near the property that my partner lived on a couple of years ago. And she's younger than me. That was just outrageous. Um and it seemed wasteful. I think that she sold it, but it just seemed weird to me and then had like a pandemic wedding with no masks on and now she wants to join the book community and all of that was after she like dragged nurses for i don't even remember it was dumb shit that's all i remember yeah all right that's the look thanks um don't look at my hair i'm gonna go finish gods and monsters even though i'm not having that good time and finish packing okay thanks bye
Is it Wednesday and I'm closing out the vlog three days late? Fuck yeah it is. I'm closing out the vlog. I hope you guys had a great week. Hope you had a great day. I will see you guys next week on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Standard and then on Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard. Sorry for this video sucking. Um, I hope you have a great day. That's all I got. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you.